This thing is ready to be worked on, especially when you take a closer look at this beautiful display. And what we're dealing with here is the latest generation of ink display called Carta 1300 Mobius. It offers beautiful contrast and clarity and has an improved refresh rate compared to the older generation of Carta screens. The Mobius part of the name means it's a flexible ink screen. Of course, you're not going to be bending or flexing it while it's inside the device, but having a flexible screen like this does bring a few important benefits. First, because it doesn't use glass, it makes the screen lighter and thinner and it's not as fragile as glass screens. I can easily imagine that a plastic display like this would be less likely to crack or fail if you accidentally drop the device or put it under a bit of stress. On top of that, the screen has a high resolution of 300 ppi, which makes the interface, images, text and graphics look sharp and clear. The content on the screen is honestly a pleasure to look at. There's also a contrast setting which is super handy. It lets you adjust the contrast if images or text appear a bit too dark, so you can get everything looking just right. But there's one big and important aspect we need to talk about, and that's the lack of a front light. Now this is one of those things where some people will love it, and some people definitely won't. Personally, during the day when I was using the device, I didn't really feel the need for a front light at all. The screen looks great in natural light or even under normal indoor lighting. If you're planning to read in bed at night and you have a bedside lamp, I think that may be enough for you to use the AI paper comfortably. But I will be honest, there were moments when I was reading in bed where I did miss having a built-in front light. So whether the lack of front light is a deal breaker really depends on how and where you plan to use the AI paper. Another thing I really like is the matte surface on the screen. It does a fantastic job mimicking the feel of traditional paper, giving just the right amount of resistance while writing. It's smooth but not slippery, which I really enjoy. Overall, I'd say the writing experience on the AI paper is really impressive. It feels natural, responsive, and it's genuinely enjoyable and fun to write on this device.